So in, in, we're, at first we're just in normal point and click mode so we can just point and take some photos while it's just in normal uh, normal mode but once we change to HTC Zoe mode what happens is the camera will take a 3 second HD video and 15 still shots as well so each time we press the, the shutter button it will take it'll take this video uh, this short clip and it'll turn red so I'll just do a quick one just to give you a demonstration so as you can see there it moves to fill up red I mean it's doing a three second short clip so you do you can see it's playing back you've got the moving three seconds moving picture and you've got the sound in there as well so it means that you can get some really good shots of uh, some of the action what's happening over here so let's just see if we can capture something what these guys are going to do So if we go back into the gallery now, we'll see what, instead of just instead of just getting a picture, we've got this short clip now, so that gives us um, a lot more options when it comes to editing. So if we go to edit and retouch, we've got all the options, so we can do things like sequence shot, I don't know if it'll be able to do it on this. So that's pretty cool, we've got a guy at sort of different places on the bars there. Um, so that's one of the features what HTC Zoe can do, that's, uh, that's a sequence shot. So if we just press done, and then it'll save that as a still picture now. So you've got your moving little three second, uh, three second short clip and then you can create something like this using the, the editing features. I'll just show you a couple of the other ones what you can do on there as well, so um, let's just go to gallery. So I showed you sequence shot there. What we can do is another one similar, similar it's called Always Smile. So you've got your short three second clip of here and these people are posing for a photograph. So if we go to edit and retouch, what we can do is Always Smile. So we can make sure we get the best shot of each person's face. So it's noticed, it's noticed that they, it's highlighted all the four faces with the facial recognition. So what we can do is select a face we want to change and then just run our finger along the bottom. Let's just try that again. That's better. So you can see that the face changes there. And you can pick any second, any point in that three second time frame. And you can do that for each person as well. Whoa. So you can choose a different point for all four people. And then once you finish, you can just click done, and it stitches all them faces together onto one picture. So that's another cool, cool function that Zoe enables you to do. Um, another one, what we've got on there is object removal as well. So if somebody walks through your photograph, so if, for example, we take a short Zoe clip instead of a photograph, we've got people walking through the background of the clip to, uh, of the photograph just down in this bottom corner. So what we can do is edit and retouch and object removal will get rid of these people passing through in the background. So it's automatically scanned the picture for things can be removed and already taken them two out. So I'll just pop one back in so we can see for example. So this is where she was before um, and then if we just remove her, the software just takes her out and then we can save that as an image. Sorry to interrupt there.